It's amazing, isn't it? We had to know everything about George W. Bush. His last drink, the last ticket he got, what his grades were, his military record. Dan Rather had to lie about his military record, which got him fired and so forth. I mean, we, it's par for the course except when it comes to Obama. So we're all weird, right? Well, I've always wanted to see the guy's transcripts. If you're going to run for president, if you're going to be a uh, adjunct professor pretending you're a real professor, if you're going to be labeled and encourage the label of the smartest guy to ever be president of the United States, okay, let's see it. Plus his own public writings, his two auto <laughs> autobiography who writes two autobiographies. <laughs> well, that aside. He says that he was basically in a uh, drug-induced stupor for the last two years of high school, and I've asked many times, well, how did he get into Occidental? And how did he transfer to Columbia? And how did he get into Harvard? He was a pothead. Now, we're not allowed to know that. What are you, Bertha? What's wrong with you, you Trump? Uh, What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, I don't think we should be removing all this off the table. Don't you people want to know about your president who wants to be reelected? He presents himself for election? I think you do. I do too. But the media are not interested. Well, we know what's going on here, don't we? Of course. I say this. Whatever the hell is transcript, let's just defeat the guy. What do you say? I know he didn't get an A plus in economics. No, no, not very sharp. I know he didn't get an A plus in accounting or finance. No, not the sharpest. Yeah, he didn't get. Uh, I remember they hid John Kerry's records for the longest time. Remember that, Mister Producer? But yeah, then it turns out he got several D's. That's why they were. I mean, I don't think everybody should have to turn over their transcripts. Hey, what's yours? What's yours? That's not the point. The point is, he's demanding that Romney turn over 10 years of tax returns. Okay, how about you turn over a couple years of transcripts? No, 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 what are you talking about? That's like a birther. Well, maybe Romney should try the same thing. You want 10 years of tax returns? What are you, birther? And by the way, this birther stuff, let me tell you something. This argument, and I've never been a birther, and I've been attacked by them on the Internet, on phone calls, and all the rest of it, but that said, what's more illogical, the birthers or the Marxists slash socialists, that is the statists? Who's denying what? The birthers are harmless. But Obama is denying... The law of economics, the laws of economics. He's denying the Constitution in many respects because that's the nature of his philosophy and his his politics. So he's a denier. He's a Constitution denier. He's a capitalism denier. He's a private property rights denier. He's a profit denier. P R O F I T. Right? He's a success denier, a prosperity denier. I'm supposed to get all worked up about the birth. Hey, well, they're deniers. Or global warming, right? Climate change, whatever. Whatever the name is today. Oh, you're a denier. Huh? Denier. No, but we're supporters of capitalism and science and evidence and truth and those sort of things. We're not deniers. We, we, we promote information, substance. You're the deniers. You deny man's nature. You deny man his free will and sovereignty and so forth.